Happy Sabbath. Once again, we want to welcome everybody, everyone, to come along in this session. And we want to thank God for the services that have gone. We welcome you to join us as we shall be singing. Now, today, we have the church choir, that is Nilimani SDA Church Choir, coming in. Uh, as choristers, we shall be doing only two songs, and then other songs, they shall bless us with their beautiful songs. Don't turn away. Keep on. Thank you very much. Now, uh, we are going to sing song number 159 in Swahili. 159 in Swahili. And uh, before we do that, uh, let us bow down wherever you are so that we pray. Our Heavenly Father, what in heaven, we are grateful for this day. You blessed it. It was sanctified. It was given unto us so that in this day we may worship you. As we start this session, we ask the lead of the Holy Spirit to guide us all the way. Is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Song number 159. <laughs>
Nadi e polo, Yesu Christo e matelo na. Kata yo rush, kata yo bed, and I say walk up na don't you? Na lo man bini, o se lo mo adie. Wale uru, di Yesu du, di Yesu du. Oh, 
welcome you to the prayer session and we want to pray for the nation. We want to pray for those who are infected or affected due to COVID-19. We also want to pray for economic problems that most of people are facing in the country and the whole world. We want to pray for spiritual revival. And we also want to pray that God may hear your concerns and your spiritual needs this particular time. So please feel most welcome and join us in the prayer session. Heavenly Father, you are a great and awful God. For there is no other God we can compare with you, with your ancient of ages. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. When you are in problems, we come before thee because we know there is nowhere else we can get solution to our problems. We come to thee because there is no problem that is too difficult for you. We know you are a merciful God and you are a mighty God. For honor and glory are all given unto you. You are the creator of heavens and the earth. And when we come before thee, we know that all our needs will be answered. We pray first that you may forgive us of our sins and our trespasses, that all our problems that we bring before thee may come to you directly. Lord, we are living at times when we are in crisis. We have the COVID-19 pandemic in our country and in the whole world. People are moving left and right to look for a solution. But Lord, we know without you, we will not get a solution. Come to our rescue as a people. Listen to us as a nation. Listen to us as the whole humankind. Because we need you this particular time. All approaches have been tried, but all have failed. But we know with you, nothing will fail. We call upon you this particular day that you may remember your people. Those who are sick in the hospitals. Those who are affected in one way or the other. May you give them the courage and the hope to trust in you. There are also those who are sick with other diseases in hospitals at home. Lord, we know you have the ability to heal them. And today we pray that you may heal each and every heart and every soul that needs you, either physically or spiritually. We want to pray that you may come to this world and enable us to see that without you, nothing can happen. Without you, we cannot make a move. We want to pray for our government that they may have the right direction to lead your people. We want to pray for the economic recovery so that when we have an economic crisis, you can provide for our needs. There are those without food, but they need something to eat. You are the provider. There are those who have nowhere to run to. They are running left and right. But to us who believe in you, we know without you, nothing shall come into accomplishment. As we prepare to come back to the congregational worshiping, we pray that you may make it possible for us. And we pray that even as your people come together back to normalcy, let it be a normalcy that you are blessed, a normalcy that we can see your hand, that we can say that our God has listened to us. We pray and believe that only you can help us at this particular time. Because we are a nation that believes in you. We are a church that believes in you. Remember your people, all your children, wherever they are. All your children, whether they are listening. All your children, wherever they are worshipping you. Listen to us and answer us as according to your will. Thank you, dear Lord, for all that you have done to us. But you know what we need. Provide for us. Bless us together as a family. Bless us individually. And bless us as a church. Bless us as a nation. Bless us as the whole mankind because we believe and trust in your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Again, we come back to you. In prayer, Lord, we recognize you 
as a loving father. And Father, we know that in your own image and likeness, you created us. Father, today we come to you on this Sabbath day as we put our petitions before you, knowing very well, Lord, that we have our weaknesses and we ask for forgiveness. Father, we live in times that we are wondering what is next. Your people are suffering. Some have lost their jobs. Some have lost their loved ones, Father. And all these people need your presence in their lives. Even as we continue during these hard times, Father, we know that we need a lot of spiritual revival. And Lord, we are asking you to intervene in good time so that your people may not run away from you but come back to you. May even be closer to you this time like never before, Lord, because we know that it is only you who can take care of the situation. The pandemic has made people wonder what is next. And Lord, may we realize during this time that it is a sign that you care for us and that it is a time that you are willing to come back to pick us so that we be with you in the new Jerusalem. Thank you, Father. For those who have not had their meals for a long time or even today, Lord, may you meet them at their points of need. For those who are missing anything that is essential in our day-to-day -day life, Lord, because of what we are going through, maybe because they cannot go out to look for their sources of living, Lord, we ask you to intervene. We know that everything that is placed in your hands, Lord, will be done according to your will. We commit ourselves at the Seventh-day Adventist Church worldwide that, Lord, you may listen to our petitions. And even all the other Christians who are worshipping you, Father, may you meet each and every one of us. And for those who have not known you, Father, too, may they come to know you and realize that the whole world belongs to you and that everything that is happening is under your control. Father, intervene so that your people may see your hand of mercy, so that people may know that you are the living God, so that those who have been worshipping idols may know that we need to worship you, the only living God. Thank you, Father, for everybody who is listening today and everybody who is also worshipping you today, Lord. May they convey the messages and the petitions that are in their hearts and in their minds Lord, that you may meet each and every one of us. May by the end of this day, Lord, your name be lifted up high and glorified forever and ever. For this is my humble prayer, believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.